Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to a Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to speed up, freeze and or slow down Cinema 4D dynamics. So we have this very simple example. This sphere is going to blow up and they slow down in mid-air and then return to normal speed afterward. So let's get started. We're going to create a new project. Let's go and insert a floor and get a sphere. Give this uh, 12 segments and a radius of 50. Let's go to our MoGraph and get a cloner and drop the sphere inside the cloner. We can pull this up a little bit more. Let's uh, set the mode of our cloner from linear to grid array just so we have more to work with. Let's bump this up again. And uh, we're going to go to MoGraph, Effector, and Random. And uh, that's just going to give us something that looks a little less organized. I need to bunch this up more so that when we run the dynamics, these are going to explode um, a little better. OK, so let's add some dynamics. Let's go to the floor, right click, simulation tags, and rigid body. Let's do the same for our cloner. And uh, when we hit play, we have something but uh, not very interesting. Let's go to the simulation tag on the cloner, go to the collision tab, and set individual elements to all. That way, all of these can be affected by dynamics separately. All right, um, pretty cool, but uh, that explosion is a little underwhelming. So what we can do to jazz it up a little bit is to go to the Dynamics tab and um, we want to we set a custom initial velocity and uh, this is going to be on the Y axis. So X, Y, let's uh, put this as 500. So they're going to sort of blow up in the Y uh, direction. And uh, again, a little underwhelming. So let's go to the simulation tag, go to collision, and let's increment the size a little bit. So if we say five, we might get something a little better. And indeed, we do. In fact, let's uh, go crazy with this. I'm going to go to the count and make it five by five by five. So that's going to be way crazier perhaps too crazy. We can uh, go ahead and lower that increment now to 1 or 0. Awesome. Uh, let's uh, now do the freeze frame. Let's uh, press Control D to bring up the project settings. Go to the Dynamics tab and this is the value that we want to tinker with. It's called the time scale. So at frame 0 we obviously want it to be at 100. So let's uh, hold control and click the circle next to the word time scale. And when it goes red, it means you have a keyframe. We want to freeze this almost instantly. So let's go to frame 10 and set this to zero and hold control again and click. So we have this, it just freezes like that. And that's pretty cool. We're going to go to frame 50 and insert another keyframe, move forward 10 frames and bring this back to 100. So we have this animation, it freezes and then carries on. So you could have some kind of camera move panning around this as this uh, is frozen and that creates a really cool effect. Uh, I'm going to go to my window and timeline. Let's uh, get this uh, keyframes here and set their value to 25 instead of 0. Do the same over here. That way the um, spheres are never going to stop actually moving completely. They're just going to slow down and then speed up again. But uh, that's almost too quick. So let's uh, adjust that again. Instead of 25, let's have 5. So they're going to be moving very slowly for a while and then speed up again. And just like that, you now know how to speed up, slow down, or freeze dynamics in Cinema 4D. 
And it's up to you now to go and create something more awesome than this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.